Hi guys, welcome to another Oculus Rift video and today we're having a look at Farlands. Now, just having a quick gander around this cockpit for this ship. This this looks absolutely fantastic. I'm uh, not entirely sure how good it pops out in the camera, but just me turning around in the ch chair, you know, very Star Trek style and this this looks like all this fluff here looks proper really. It looks like almost like you could actually touch it. I just bumped into something then, camera judder. Anyway, this is a bit of a weird game. It's Well, it's not really a game because you can just play it with a normal remote. But uh, every day, it's a bit like uh, Tamagotchi in a way. You have to grow these creatures and treat them and feed them and stuff. But like I said, I've not been on today, so let's just start down at the garden. That's the main uh, title screen graphic. looks very nice, but as you can see straight away... Ooh, that's me, uh, robot companion. Uh, garden's nice and easy. Just uh, he's whizzing all over it. Fantastic. Then one, two, please. Hmm. I can't. Uh, I'm using my head here, and I'm on a swivel chair as well. Well, I say graphically, I mean, this looks absolutely fantastic. You know, you can absolutely spin your head round in, in awe just to have a look at this planet and uh, see the water effects over there. Oh, very, very lovely. That's the rest of this part. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm spinning too fast now. Let's go back to the cockpit. Here we go. Right, deploy again. That guy. There must be one species that has been here since the beginning that yeah. could shed light into this planet's past. You... Keep an eye out for it, cadet. I'm being talked at, but basically, they, you, you're here as a research cadet and you get experience points as you get more stuff. And I'll show you the main part of it. This is. I mean, you're only really supposed to play this for about 10 or 15 minutes a day. But this is just the, uh, the map area. See these creatures down there? They look. Uh, Wee, quite nifty. I've never looked this close at the map before. Anyway, but uh, as you can see, the controls there, because I'm using the uh, main control, but you, you meant to use it mainly with the uh, Oculus Rift remote, but I had this two hands, so. There we go. Someone remembered me. Yay! Hello, happy birthday. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the. It's very basic. You uh, press the left key to do uh, uh, scan analysis, and you see there that means he wants that gif a He's up to level three, but it means he wants a bit of fruit. So I press the button and then look at the one I want to use. Thanks, Berit. And then as he comes over, you can take pictures. Lean in. <laughs> and that's it. You get points for it. Hey! Oh, he's changed colour! Oh, he wants another one! Okay, mate! And, uh, oh, let's see if we can play a game with him. Uh, Giffel toy. Come on, bud! Come on! Don't like that, does he? Bloody hell! Let's give him the yellow, that's what he wants. It seems it's a bit annoying, I mean, you have to keep feeding him two or three times a day, and as you go around each creature, they, they do different things. But it's actually pretty packed with uh, information. See, there you go. Is he chuffed? Yeah, he must be, he's changed back to colour again. And now he wants a fish. I'm uh, give him that one. There you go. Oh, bud. Detail on him is amazing. Well, let's leave him to eat that. But I mean, like I said, I mean, just look at that in the distance—the sea, the ocean, the islands—and you know, you look up in the sky like that. You've got all the planets, the one cracking open. You can't go to them, I'm afraid. But the graphics are amazing. But this is just such a relaxing game. Like this bit here, yeah? you can fish in the water. Pretty easy to do, but. It, uh, Hey, come on, lad, come on. That's it, and that's all there is to the fishing. 
And then if you're lucky, a Billy Goat. I've caught him before. But uh, yeah, and then you collect fruit around the islands. I mean, there's other stuff to do. You uh, you meant to. Do oh, okay. There's a bug there. That's it. I found something. Yeah, you, you you don't pick the names. <laughs> I wish you did. She does it for you. They're never very good, though, are they? Uh, anyway, let's have a quick gander around here. Let's go and collect these oh, fruits. What's she doing? What's she doing? Let's get a picture of that. He was digging then. I've missed it. You see, you get points for... Uh, Everything unique they do. Sensors indicate a common bug is fast approaching. That's it, is there. Wants it approaches. You this bug has already been oh. but And the more points you get the more the more higher the grade. I think it goes up to about level twenty. And and when you get higher, you get to go to different islands and stuff with a lot more things on. Hello! Some of them actually talk back to you. <laughs> Take a picture of him. Nope. Oh, anyway, that's, uh, that's the main island done anyway. Let's have a quick look. I'll, I'll, the next one's absolutely amazing. This is the guy who reviews everything you've done. We've only got a bug. <laughs> There you go, see? I'm uh, using my head there, but wow. Uh, done. None of them pictures were any good. Yes, I do, sunshine. Right, All right let's go to the jungle. It's only the second area, but this is probably my favourite so far. It's because it's loads of fun. Here we go. You see that looking down? The biggest problem I've had with this game is uh, I'm on a swivel chair, yeah, if you can move around and everything. It's the first problem I've had with the Oculus Rift, but it's the bloody cable. It keeps, for me, you know, it'll wrap so easily around the, ch the chair and you think, oh, you know, you keep an eye on that. But if you get immersed in something and you get really involved, these guys are absolutely awesome. I mean, come here. Oi. Hello. Come back. Let's give him the fish. They actually repeat what you say. It's like you've been sucking hydrogen. <laughs> Go on. Come on. They actually repeat what you say. It's like you've been sucking hydrogen. <laughs> See? Go on. You're not going to eat it. I did give it to you, matey. Maybe I've got to get his attention. Nope. <laughs> anyway, well, I'd say there's another massive, massive creature you can look at. Oliant. But yeah, and, and that's the game, really. It's just, it's just really, really enjoyable. You go from place to place collecting fruit and that, and a uh, bit of fishing here and there. It's. Uh, Looks absolutely awesome up close. Not sure how well it's coming off on the PC, but you know, graphically, it's probably one of the better looking uh, launch games. It's no, it's no Project Cars, I'll, I'll say that, but you know, certainly uh, draws you in. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's enough of Firelands for now. I might do a follow-on video to this when I'm much further into the game because I say it's not, it's not opened up as much as it should. And I know it, it gets a lot deeper, but I am pretty much enjoying this one so far. It's uh, a lot of fun. See, look at them creatures over there. See, a lot of it is just about exploring and seeing what's out there. And earning points. <laughs> anyway. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and please look forward to another video soon. And goodbye to you.